What is going on guys? Grave here today and I'll talk about the lack of a map voting system in Call of Duty Vanguard. Now to me, a map voting system should be something that is in Call of Duty from day one. And if I'm remembering correctly, I don't think Modern Warfare 2019 had a map voting system on launch day either. I might be wrong about that, but either way, it's definitely something we need in Call of Duty Vanguard. I think a lot of people were really excited when they heard there was going to be 16 multiplayer maps on launch day. And of course, we're going to get more added in as the game's life cycle continues. I just feel like I get put in a lot of the same maps over and over. I know the first few days the game was released, I didn't even play all of the maps uh, that the game had, all 16. It took like a week before I even got to experience the majority of the maps. I was going in custom games to see some of these maps because it feels like the map pool that the game picks is kind of the same seven or eight maps. Sometimes I feel like it's the same three or four maps. And I'm not quite sure what the issue is with that. I guess I wouldn't really have a big problem with a map voting system if we got to play all of the maps available. But I feel like I play the, you know, the two beta maps all the time. Then they throw in a few more of the newer maps and then I go back to the two beta maps. It just seems like I don't really get to experience some of these maps as much as I do some of the others. And I think a map voting system would help with that. Plus a map voting system also helps with if you're playing with friends or if you're, you know, you're playing with randoms in a lobby, if there's a map people really just do not like, of course, you're going to get to vote for, you know, what you want to play and what you don't. And of course, if there's a lot of maps coming up in the pool that, you know, people don't get to experience a lot, people are always going to vote for something they don't get to play. Like when new maps come out, you know, with updates, people always vote for those new maps because they want to see what they look like and, you know, whatnot. But overall, we definitely need a map voting system added in. Like I said, this has been something Sledgehammer had in the game from day one. A map voting system, in my opinion, like I said from the start, should be in every Call of Duty game uh, from day one. But right now, this is definitely something that is a good quality of life fix that the game needs. And there's a lot of things out there that people are kind of disappointed with when it comes to Call of Duty this year. Things that usually are in the game from the start that are not, uh, it seems like they have to add in just, you know, the normal things you would expect with a Call of Duty game. They have to be added in with updates. And that map voting system is definitely one of them. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts and let me know what you think. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. Also, be sure to check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.